get all back and answer more goddamn questions. But before we get to the questions, I got them printed off today. A few order questions, and then I think two videos, and perhaps some stuff to ask questions. Goddamn Toon Ski Recommendations. I must say, this might be the best fucking thing I've heard all goddamn year. Have to go back and fucking do a full checkout of what I checked out this year. But this is definitely the fuck up there. Now, this came out last year, and I knew I was already going to like it because I YouTubed and I heard about it. But I only, like, listened, like, one or two songs off fucking YouTube um, because I wanted to give it a full goddamn listen. And it was put out by Redefining Darkness. And then uh, we used to do the fulfillment housing for Redefining. But uh, he moved out of state, so we no longer do it. And it was taking a little bit of while for us to get our um, um, our wholesale account set up. It finally is. So I don't know if you guys noticed like, a couple weeks ago. So we got a shitload of Redefining Darkness stuff, like the Devastation uh, uh, demos, the Devastation Texas demos, the CD, the, bot, the uh, cassette box set, which that's sold out right away. The LP, we got the Faith Extracted new album, you know, all, the, all those current stuff. So we should be uh, in the loop of getting all the stuff in stock. And uh, so I knew we were going to eventually get this, and the dog is picking up a CDLP for himself. And that is goddamn fucking Kill Division. So it's, this is advertised as a full length, but it's basically like 24 minutes. Short and to the point. But hey, a fucking uh, Slayer Rain and Blood counts in full length, but this goddamn counts as a full length. Fucking insert, goddamn it. So this, to me, I don't know if this kind of what they consider. Probably not, because it doesn't have Phil Fasinia. How the fuck you pronounce his name from Love and Creation? It's uh, this to me is like it's like hate plow continued with um, just a different goddamn name because it's Kyle Simmons on uh, vocals who he sang for Hate Plow. It's got Gus Rios on there, and um, it's got what's his face Dirk. And I know uh, Craig and uh, Tommy were buddies with him. Uh, he does a good job on the drums. Uh, I didn't think he was. In, I didn't think he was into stuff like this uh, for no reason other than just he was a Megadeth. So I just assumed he liked the fucking pussy shit. Uh, maybe a good thing here and there. But he was able to blast and apparently likes fucking grindcore shit. Because this is like a, I would, I would call it just, just straight up grindcore, maybe death grind, but grindcore. So this to me is basically like hate plow. You guys know how I think of hate plow. Well, I don't know how you think about hate plow. I ain't been watching my goddamn fucking videos. Hey, Paul has two albums. They are fucking phenomenal. Blast and greatness. Only Law of Survival is my favorite, in case you happen to give a goddamn flying ass fuck. But the first one's a masterpiece, too. Dog's been wanting to do them on vinyls for years. Remember we talked about CDs that have never been on vinyl? Those are two right there. Phil, what the fuck? Malevolent. I know you've been told. I know your ass has been told. I've had a couple people email you. Half like, I told Phil. He said, yeah, I'll get a hold of him. <laughs> Crickets over here, motherfucker. I haven't heard shit from your ass. Service at hellsheadbangers.com. Contact the fucking dog. The dog wants to do both hate plows on fucking 12-inch vinyl L. God damn it. Anyways, this is basically like hate plow trying to play like terrorize your world downfall. Must fucking have. I got to say, my personal fucking favorites. I probably listened to this motherfucker five times already. Picked up the CD too, God damn it. It's been in the car. CDLP. But the, the second and the third song, Surrounded by Filth and Thin the Hurt. Man, are those some bangers. Catchy as a goddamn mofo. I'm telling you right now, this is music for men, too. When you put it on, it's got fucking booms for that fucking days. It, I mean, so it's new band, so yeah, it can be done. The new shit, this kicked, this kicked my asshole into my stomach on the first goddamn listen. So I guess that new shit is, well, just you know it ain't hitting you because you heard it all. I, apparently, that's a goddamn pile of crock of shit. And this is nothing super original. Again, the first thing that comes to mind is, is World Downfall. That's, you're like, okay, this is clearly what they're going for. I don't think they're making any bones about it. I mean, even just the whole image of shit. Obviously, it's about polit politics, shit like that. It's got fucking, what, Trump blowing his brains out, fucking <laughs> Biden sucking a dick. Um, kind of like that whole uh, tongue-in-cheek, like, World Downfall, where it's like anti-politics, but they're not taking a certain side. So it's kind of cool. Um, I think just kind of calling it out, it's all fucking garbage. I think they kind of, that's the vibe I got based on uh, peeking at the lyrics and just the artwork and shit like that. And you can understand a lot of what Kyle says, too. God damn, that's a brutal-ass fucking voice. It is a mix of, like, kind of like, Kyle reminds me of, like, a mix of, like, Peter from Vader, Glenn Benton, and kind of like a pinch of hardcore. A lot of toughness. 
Uh, but you can understand a lot of what he's saying, even without the lyrics, so it's fucking cool. But the voice is still goddamn brutal. Because actually, uh, my favorite, without a doubt, and I'm not just saying because this came out, I've always said that, uh, my favorite Malevolent Creation album without uh, Brett singing, because the Brett stuff's my favorite, I thought he was just kind of the voice of Malevolent, is The Will to Kill. The Will to Kill, if you don't know that one. Uh, and I've been saying that for years. I think I even showed it on a Hellcast when I pulled the LP out. I'm like, this is an underrated one. that all these fucking doinks fucking buy. Like, they just don't know about it. They're buying fucking just stupid shit. That is fucking a juggernaut of a fucking death metal album. Divide and Conquer on there. That is a great fucking song. But uh, non-albums, because Kyle sings on that one of what, just War Call, I believe. Because um, I, I like The Wheel to Kill much more than Eternal and in cold blood. I know a lot of the old heads, what the fuck, this fucking idiot. Honestly, dude, it kind of sends them out. Not even kind of. It does send those two home on a stretcher. They're, those are good albums. I own them. I like them. I own every single the Lovely Creation album. I like, they're one of the few death metal bands. Them, Deicide, Cannibal, Mortician, Immolation. Thinking about uh, bands that have been around for at least the early, those of all those bands have been around since the fucking 80s. But let's say 1990 on, who have at least 10 albums plus. That same mortician, obviously. Um, they kind of stop on the albums. Then I like every single album. By most bands, I don't like. I don't like every Morbid Angel album. I don't like every Obituary album. I don't like every Death fucking album. I don't. I don't. Incantation kind of stopped paying attention after Blasphemy. Um, so Love and Creation is in that pack of few bands that I like every record. Again, do I think the Thirteenth Beast is as good as Goddamn Retribution? No. But I still like it. Just like, do I think Brave New World by Iron Maiden is as good as goddamn Peace of Mind? Oh, but I still like it. I mean, some are better than others, but it's still a good fucking record, right? No no duds in the catalog. So, yeah. Kill Division. They're here. I know this came out last year. 2022. No fucking shit, dipshit. We've already been over that shit for brains. I'm just saying. I finally fucking got it. Yes, I YouTubed it. Knew I was already going to like it. But gave it a full fucking five studio goddamn listens. Fuck. Kick my fucking ass. So goddamn 200 wimp wounds, fucking frozen boar, and goddamn sanguizio ball sack. Move the fuck out of the way, goddamn it. Kill Division destroys all three of those fucking newbies put together. Grand Kill Division a newbie too, but a damn goody newbie. So highly fucking recommend it, goddamn it. Uh, Hells does have a few in stock. Well, I'm not sales pitching. I think we be, we got five CDs and like, Three or four LPs. Now, granted, if they sell out right well, we'll restock from redefining, but that's not the goddamn point. I'm just showing you shit I fucking like. You buy, you buy, you don't, you don't, you suck a dick, you suck a dick, don't give a flying fuck. YouTube and do whatever the fuck you want. Just people tell, say, mention shit and take off. He doesn't mention any new bands. Well, there's a new band for you, so fuck off. Anyways, goddamn questions. Let's fucking get, get straight to them. Make sure I get the uh, order ones first, though. I think so. Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, maybe this might not be in order, but it's a couple. I think I'll uh, think of a blow. But I don't know, it's a page anyways. Holt. Holtis the Goat. Hey, a goddamn name. That's definitely a user, user ID. For the dog, if you never met your wife, would you be able to marry someone that didn't like metal? Uh, Yeah, I don't think that'd be an issue. I would just... uh. The only issue would be is if she didn't like going to shows, because that's kind of like my social time. I go to shows, it'd be nice that if she tag along, um, if she had no interest in that, that'd be kind of, not that she'd have to, but that'd be kind of a fucking doubt, uh, bummer. But yeah, that's not a goddamn deal breaker, because honestly, 99 times out of 100 that I'm listening to music anyways, it's, it's, it's we're not listening to music together, I'm by myself, so um, I'm usually either working or in the car or at the warehouse, so it doesn't matter as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, that, that wouldn't be, that's, that's not the, uh, that, that wouldn't be a deal, deal breaker. Uh, Viva Blasphema Arts. Hey, J Dog, what are your thoughts on 2000 and on death metal bands like Titan Blood, Necros Crystals, Dajel? Uh, how do you pronounce that, guys? D E G I A L. By the way, I like them. Only band I'm liking so far on this goddamn list. Dead Congregation, Grave Appeal, Impetuous Wish, Ritual, Lucifer, or Quigs Curve with a Q. Never pronounce that shit either. Great death metal with the concept and an aesthetic appealing to black metal fanatics, too. Gotta be honest, you pretty much mentioned every goddamn band I don't like. Um, with the exception of the Daigle, Daigle, how the fuck you pronounce them. They did two LPs that I know of. I think I own them both. 
more of an angel style fucking death metal that I thought was done goddamn right. Sound like, you know, Ultra Madness era jamming as a motherfucker. Gotta admit, I gotta go back and respin it. It's one of those I spun it. Oh, wow, this is good. And I picked up an LP. Probably only listened to it two times since. Uh, so I don't know it, know it. So I need to get to know it. That Dajel's a prime example of why. What did I say on yesterday's video, a couple days ago's video? Some of the videos get put out a little bit out of order too, especially like when interviews uh, videos come up and shit like that. Um, but they are a prime example that I've heard at least two of their records. I don't know if they have more than two albums, but I'm pretty sure I've only heard. I, I know I for sure I've only heard two. If they have more than that, then I'm all, and I think they have a seven inch too. That I've listened to. I don't know it. I remember it being very morbid angelish, you know, abominations, altars era, maybe uh, in that area, from what I remember. So I don't know it. But what I was talking about the other day, when you're looking through, like, why put on Dio? Why put on Priest again? It's like, why? Like, I got Dejo sitting right there. I remember it being good, and I don't even fucking know it. I can't even air guitar it. Can't even fucking drum to it. Sing along. Like, I don't know it, and it's good shit. It's shit I need to get to know. Why am I not listening to that? That's why when I said, like, you kind of look over and you're like, I got Dio, Holy Diver here. It's a great ma masterpiece. Not, and to be honest, I probably like Holy Diver more than I like Dave, even if I get to fucking know it. But it's just kind of like, why put it, why put it on? I, I, just, I, I just, every time, like, if I think about it, I'm like, it just seems like I'm wasting that 45 minutes. I should be putting something on that I should be getting to know. Or at least a brutal fucking masterpiece that, that dad don't like. That it's not going to be possibly on the goddamn ball game when it's played and played them in between halftime. You know, I mean, do I really need to put out War Pigs? I, I kind of don't. I, I just, I, I'm sorry, I kind of fucking don't. And here's the thing: I know fucking some uh, even you know older guy or true metal who's going, "Well, J Dog, it's nice to break up the monotony. Not everybody wants to hear brutal extreme shit all the time." I get that, totally get that, and that's why I own those, and that's why. Again, you just use the key word, though, occasionally break it up. And that's what I have before, too. Problem is, the reason I'm calling it out is, why is it at my day event? There's no occasionally, motherfucker. That's all I ever fucking hear. Some of the good old old heavy metal classics, you know, Dio, Sabbath, Maiden, etc. At best, at best, or goddamn Dan Rock. That's all I hear. That's it. I don't think I... A matter of fact, except, you know, going to Baxter's shop, I can honestly fucking say without a shadow of a doubt that I have never been to a party. I'm talking about a party that's hosted by metalheads that I walked in and they're playing and anything like I Word of Golgotha, Bonnet Possession or anything by Immolation, Tomb of the Mutilated. Surely you know that. Surely. Anything by DSI. Never walked into a party. It's not about that, like, well, why don't I listen to War Pigs again? Why? I, I don't get, well, I'm confused. Why is fucking War Pigs on? We've heard this. Just put on the fucking fat game, and halftime, they're probably playing it. What is the point of this? That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, Dajel or fucking goddamn Maiden again. It's kind of like, Maiden seems kind of like a waste of time. That's all I'm saying, goddamn it. I'll be all the rest of that shit. You, uh, that's. That's how I took all those bands. Eric Golick. Justin, I know you collect albums on multiple formats and multiple pressings, so question. When you want to listen to something, what format do you choose? Uh, the car, I listen to CDs. If I need super convenience and I'm going to be super fucking be busy, no matter where I'm at, a CDs, flipping through records and shit like that, going through records, and if all I don't have an LP, then LP. Whatever is easier to grab, whatever you see first. Just answer that. I tend to listen to an album that has the best sound. Perfect example. Not a sound engineer over here, because I, I know the zero difference, to be completely fucking honest with you. It, perfect example is Suffocation, Bringing the Spawn, Bootleg Picture Disc. Yep, yep, yep. The dog's got it. Knows exactly what you're talking about, brah, brah. As a matter of fact, yeah, you're the guy I saw. You bought uh, Suffocation, Pierce from Within. I was glad that came out, because uh, Effigy and uh, Bringing the Spawn, I didn't even pick up because they were already done on bootlegs and they looked fan fucking fantastic and sounded fan fucking fantastic. I already had them. I got them on my goddamn wall too. Well, I got Bringing the Spawn, but Effigy's on my goddamn wall. Um, they didn't need the fucking uh, late to the game goddamn officials. Boots are best. And the boots actually look better, dude, too, to be completely honest with you. I know. I've seen them both. Uh, but Pierce from the End was never on picture disc. So uh, I did pick that up, just like you did. I do like that record. All I need to do is um, despise the sun. Because I, I do like despise the sun actually quite a bit. Um, 
even though it's an EP, they someone needs to do that. Goddamn pictures. And then now it's never got on pictures. I own an LP of it, that uh, repress uh, LP that uh, Relapse did, splatter vinyl or some type of color vinyl. I bought that. But a picture disc sure would be nice. Blue light picture disc, uh, I got it from Hell's. It's a pressing of 250 copies. Yep, yep, yep. Limited. We don't subscribe. Boots are best. They're limited as fuck. They're collectible. Goddamn, like little fucking trophies and a fucking piece of goddamn uh, time stamped on a goddamn vinyl. Why wouldn't you want it? Screams questionable metalist to me. I mean, it's just like, you like suffocation, but you don't want that? Like, well, I, that, that makes no goddamn sense to me. Like, literally zero goddamn sense. Probably the same guy fucking throwing on Priest again for the millionth fucking time. I always point to this release when people say all pictures just sound like shit because it smokes every other version. Yep, sure does, bra bra. People that say they're talking on their ass. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Again, they're listening to D.O. Holy Dyer from 20 million fucking times. It's just those guys. It's like, yeah, I mean, heard it, bro. The suffocation sounds like shit. Yeah, I mean, heard it. Well, you listen to suffocation. Never the party I was at you, didn't it? So, suck a fucking dick. Don't know what you're talking about. Jason Lenz. Yo, Jada. Question for the channel with from Zombie Burnings. So, Jason Wenson's name. This is an older question, goddammit. So, Zombie Burnings. Zombie Burnings is his user ID. Like it, I like when you something. Perfect shit, bro, bro. I think he says he says something talk. I think he means sometimes talk about movies. Two, how about movies with metal music in the soundtrack? Can't think of any. I know they exist, but I'm not the uh, not my department, not my wheelhouse. That much when it comes to old movies. Some of my top tops of the, of the head is Rivers Edge '86, Phenomena '85. Never seen either. Or have you checked out Deadbeat at Dawn 88? Never seen it, never heard of it. Or My Sweet Saint in 94? Never seen it, never heard of it. Again, movies are not my wheelhouse. I've, I've told you. I would never call myself a horror movie fan. Fanatical. Because I'm, to me, I'm like, I'm a poser. Though, because I know some of the big shit. I know Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Nightmare on Elm Street. I was always the metal guy. Because listen to metal. I, did, I wasn't a big, big movie guy. I do like movies. I enjoy movies. I enjoy going to the movie theater. Um... To be honest, if it's not an actor in it, then I'm not even, uh, I don't know who it is. I'm very unenthusiastic unless the storyline looks cool as a motherfucker, which is extremely rare. To be honest with you, like, for me to go check out a movie, it's it, it's got to have Arnold Stallone, somebody else I knew that I grew up, like, liking, like, someone like Michael Keaton or something, something like that. Or it's got to be, like, a new comic book movie rather than fucking those up out the ass. Honestly, ever since kind of, like... Right around, I would say, the X-Men Origins, the Wolverine Origins one, which I liked very much. So right around that time frame, because I liked when they were doing all the X-Mens and the Spider-Mans, those Tobey Maguires. Was that his name? Toby, whatever the fuck his name is. Granny's a dork and a half. He's a million times better than this fucking chomo fucking 12-year-old. Doesn't even have hair on his dick yet. Fucking canoe they got playing him these days. The, the homecoming. I'm like, I don't even want to watch this. Fucking Lindsay get kicked this dude's ass. Um, not that Toby was tough, but he's tougher than that. Um... I liked all that shit. I liked Blade. So basically, I don't know, 2010 down. After that, when they were on Avengers 25 and fucking uh, all the characters, I'm like, who the fuck's this? Fucking uh, Black Dawn and fucking uh, Hawk Dude. And just all this. I'm like, who the fuck are these guys? I was like, I collect comics growing up. I never heard of any of these chomos. I mean, the, the, come on, dude. More, more X-Men, Punisher, Blade was fucking awesome. I did like the Spideys. I liked the Incredible Hulks. Um, I did like the Venoms. Now, don't get me wrong. Those were good. And the second one, we went to the theater for both of those. The second one came out, what, last year? Two years ago? Um, I did enjoy that. And I thought they did a good job with Carnage. What's it say? Woody Harrelson. I thought he did a really good job. I enjoyed him thoroughly in that. So that was the last comic book movie that I saw and liked. It was the last one I saw. The rest of them just looked too goddamn dumb for me to even care. Um, so... Like, if they're doing another X-Men, especially with, like, Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine, that's who I prefer. Uh, Deadpool 2 was good as well. Deadpool 1, I didn't like. It was dumb. It's just a bunch of dick and fart jokes. The reason Deadpool 2 was so fucking cool was because uh, one of my favorite uh, Marvel characters, Cable, was in it. And I thought they did a really good job. He looked the part, the whole image, like he looked in the comics. Uh, so they did a good job, and they didn't fuck him up. So I would like to see another movie. I can't remember the guy's name who fucking played him. I know the you know him or anything else, but he did a good job. Um, I would like to see that is something I would go see for sure. But we I'd be excited about is the X Force series, uh, which Cable was the leader of that. I'd like them to do it like in a futuristic time with Apocalypse 
or Strife. Strife was the one of the villains. Yeah, dude, was Strife actually? They fucked Apocalypse up too. Granted, I did like that X Men Apocalypse, but it looked like a goddamn green fucking just Martian from fucking. Um, he's like, dude, he's like a robotic looking guy. Granted, I think they did that because they're like, oh, this is gonna look CGI. What? Well, what the fuck difference does that make? All this shit CGI, like a motherfucker these days. So CGI, the fuck is just juice into the gills of the CGI. Um, so I thought they fucked Apocalypse up, although I did still enjoy the movie. Was it Days of Future Past? Or, no, what was it? That was no, that was good, too. Uh, so I pretty much like every single X-Men movie. So I would go and see another X-Men. If they do that, that's a movie I'd be pumped about. X-Force, I, I was really hoping they would do, like I said. And again, you could do it like, oh, well, people don't know who X-Force is. Who knows who fucking half these other idiots are that can come out in the last 10 years. I was like, I've never heard of these motherfuckers. And I've collected comments, hands over fucking fists as a kid. Never heard of them. Who, who the fuck's ever heard of Ant-Man? I never knew who the fuck that was. Granted, I did see that first one, and it was an enjoyable movie. I wouldn't go out and buy a DVD, but I was I was, I was entertained. Um, did a good bother. I wasn't entertained enough to see the second one. Didn't care that much. But again, who the fuck's this? Um, so, so don't give me that. Don't give me that cop-out crack of shit. Well, people don't know who Cable is in X-Force. He's, they don't need to know. He's cool as fuck, and the goddamn uh, villain strength was cool as fuck. It'll fit the goddamn bill. Contact the dog for storyline, goddammit. Hollywood will be raking in cash fucking left and right. You'll need to go to Walmart and get a bigger fucking set of rakes to fucking rake that cash in. Here are these stupid fucking ideas. So honestly, dude, outside of that, are any slime movies or like a uh, an actor I grew up on? I'm not, I don't really give a shit about seeing movies. That goes for older movies too. If I see a movie 1992 or even I mean, just for the old guys, they're going to say something stupid. Or, oh, yeah, fine. Movie 84. If it's some, nobody, I'm like, what is this? I kind of just don't care. Horror movies 99 times out of front of bore the fucking shit out of me. I like kind of like the horror movies that had monster guys, you know, Freddy Krueger, uh, Leatherface. Cause it was like more upbeat and like, I guess, I guess kind of action since it was like a monster, but when it was something like spooky and haunted houses, I'm like, just get to the fucking point already. Like, you want to fucking snooze your brains out, watch House by the Cemetery. It's like the last fucking fit, just fast forward the first 90 goddamn minutes, the last 15 minutes, that's when anything fucking happens. I mean, granted, I only seen it once and I was 15, so shut the fuck up if I'm incorrect. It was 23 goddamn fucking years ago, and actually, I think that's exactly what it was. I think it was 15, 15 or 16 is when I seen it. So if I'm incorrect, then I stand corrected. But I remember being bored fucking stiff. Just like the movie The Fog. Woo-wee! Talk about a goddamn snooze fucking fest. So, not the best goddamn uh, movie. Thanks for what did he say? What did he say? Goddamn, he's talking about that. Yeah, a bunch of movies I never fucking heard of. I'm with you on old school action films like Stallone and Schwarzenegger. Yeah, who the fuck ain't? To me, I, if you ain't, that tells me goddamn puss fucking city. Or you're going to just complete bored, boredom fucking stupid shit. Come to the news, but the guy might get his morning later, goddammit.